So the two sides of privatization, but what's the best path for Greece to take in its current situation? Let's turn again to Alexander Kritikos from the German Institute for Economic Research in Berlin. Um, you're half Greek, half German. Is Greece selling out? No, I don't think so. Um, privatization has two issues. It's on the one point is selling something and selling something out of public hands. And the other thing is making private uh, companies, uh, allowing them to make uh, things more efficient. And this is what we can see with the Greek harbor. The public side is uh, tremendously inefficiently working and the private side, side works very efficiently and adds to the Greek economy. And this may be one of those parts where we can see that Greece can have the opportunity to grow in the future. Okay, but that future seems to be very far off right now because the problem is, of course, that even if there is another bailout right now and even if they sell the, the port, it won't be enough for the Greek economy to get back on track simply because of its enormous debt. We can see it here. Take the International Monetary Fund. Greece managed to gain some breathing space this month by postponing its debt repayment, but it will have to pay eventually almost 4 billion euros between July and December. And then, of course, it also owes even more to the European Central Bank. A whopping 3.5 billion euros are due in July, another 3.2 billion in August. How is this supposed to work? Well, it will only work indeed when the second program will be paid off. The remaining 7 billion euros will be paid to Greece. But that just Greece. about covers this. This covers this exactly, and this would cover, so to say, this year's debt, and we would see it kind of a debt restructuring. But the main point is, I think, Greece will find only out of this crisis if they go on with reforms. Those reforms they didn't do so far. In particular, around product markets, around opening new markets. As long as this is not started, we will not see Greece come out of, out of uh, this situation. But, but if this is so obvious, why don't they do it? Well, there are many vested interests in Greece, and uh, this is the problem. We will need to see a government who is not depending on these kind of vested interests and is trying to do this kind of, of reforms we haven't seen for five years. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a long process, uh, surely, and it'll be interesting. Thank you very much uh, for giving us your take on that story, Alexander Kritikos. Thank you.